Hello guys, today we are gonna learn how to build custom calendar on Flutterflow. It is really useful feature for mobile apps and projects. It will have nice features when we finish it. Before the start, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe to channel and like the video. Thank you. First of all, we will need three custom functions. I will share them on my website and leave the link on descriptions. You can take the code and set custom functions easily. We will need these functions for days in month, uploading previous month and next month. Function settings for days in month will be like I am showing you now. Function settings for next month and function settings for previous month will be like this. Okay, this is our calendar. There is a container. This container contains two rows and one container. The first row allows us to switch between months. There are two icon button widget and text widget for displaying the current month. Our second row is for displaying days in a week. Lastly, the container is for displaying day and also to help us to update selected day feature. We will also need two page states. One is for current date, other is for selected date. These page states will be date time type and very important states for features. We will start with scaffold. When page is loading, there will be an action. Click scaffold and add action. Find update page state action. Click add field and select current page state. Value will be global properties, current type. Now I will set icon buttons. First previous month. Click icon button and add action. Find update page state. Field will be current page state. Select set value. Value will be custom function. Previous month function. Value will be current page state. Available option will be no further change. We have set action for icon button. Let's do similar action flow next month. We will only change custom function as next month function. Other steps will be same. Let's set text widget for showing the month name. Click text. Choose page state. Available option will be date time format. Option will be custom. Format will be 3 uppercase M. Perfect. We have set buttons for switching between months. We don't need to make any arrangements on days in week part. Now we will configure days in month. Click grid view and go to generate dynamic children. Give it a name. Value will be custom function months. Next value will be page state current. Let's click confirm. That's it. Now we will set days from dynamic children. Click text. Select days in months from dynamic children. Available option will be daytime format. Format option will be custom. 
format will be lowercase d. Perfect, we have just finished action part. Let's make better design for calendar. First, I want to make clear days which we are in current month or next month. Click text widget and find text color. Choose conditional value. First condition will be single condition, days in month, date time format, custom. And custom format will be uppercase 2M. Second value will be page state, current. Available option will be datetime format, custom. Custom format will be uppercase 2M. Let's set colors due to conditions. If it is true, color will be darker black, else text color will be lighter colors. I will also define action for selected page state with this text widget. Click action. Find update page state. Select it. Value will be days in month dynamic children. I will also design for selected date to show user which is selected in calendar. Click container and fill color value. Find conditional value. For if option, single condition, first value will be page state, selected. Second value will be days in month, dynamic children. Let's set colors due to conditions. Now I want to show events due to selected date. It will show events if there is events in selected date. Click list view and query option. We will only add filter. Find the date in event row or collection. Relation will be equal to. Value will be page state selected. We have finished all configurations, so let's test it. Okay, everything look perfect. I will click some dates. You can see there is not any event at this date. I will click another date. I want to check another month's buttons. It works correctly. I will find some events in October month. Yes, we have an event in 22. Let's find another event in October. We have just found another event too. I will look another days and month. It work amazing. I will continue to build this kind of tutorial so if you are not a subscriber you can subscribe and continue to learn new systems and features. If you miss something on video please don't hesitate and comment below. If you can like this video you will help me to reach more people who can benefit from my tutorials. You can check my website for preview templates and finish your apps faster with these templates. I will also set YouTube membership soon and you can join to my YouTube channel as member. There will be special contents for members who support my work. If you think that video helped you a lot, you can send super thanks in below. Thank you for watching and see you on next tutorials.